But as a general rule, if we want to go to like technical analysis, million little things, do not buy a market that is trading below the 30 EMA. So we take a look at the P's and here's the spiders, but you can see that we had a really good run for a long time above the 30 EMA. And then the market got a little bit questionable. Now, if you go back throughout history, you'll see that you had bear markets obviously below that 30 EMA. And a lot of times that in and of itself, just not buying a market unless it's above the 30 will keep you out of a lot of trouble. Now, I'm not saying you want to blindly buy a market. Like, okay, we're buying the 30 back here, although it would have worked nicely, but it, you know, let's rush out and buy the market. No, but you might want to wait to see if a trend develops and a pullback, ideally, if you're trading pullbacks. And Landry Light pullbacks, a great thing to do. That's just looking for this Landry Light like this. You're looking for a pullback to the to the EMA, maybe something like that, and then looking to rally when it, when it rallies off of it. But again, that'll keep you out of a lot of trouble. And the more I look at the 30 EMA through a variety of markets, the more impressed I am with how it could really help to keep you in the right side of the market. And just randomly, I grabbed whatever that last one was, the P's, and then I grabbed Ethereum, and we had a really good run in Ethereum. And this technically, I guess this is a Landry Life pullback, but it didn't materialize, but you could have stopped out a small loss. But then you could see for a long time, Ethereum has really been underperforming. So you would want to avoid that market. And if you start looking at some of these shit coins, SHYT, you'll see a lot of cases, these things might half or lose 80 or even 90% of their value and never touch, even touch that 30 EMA. Is when I grab, grab randomly Cardano, ADA, ADA. But you can see for a long time, it's been below that 30 EMA. This is what, 65 up here. So that's about a 40 or 50% drop down to the lows that would have been avoided. Just something as simple as that. And so it's a million little things will make you successful. And if you go back, if you can't sleep at night, and as Craig Morris jokes, not about my stuff, but about his, being self-deprecating, but it's a good little joke. It's like, uh, don't operate heavy machinery afterwards. But if you go back in the day, especially before the Facebook group, the Facebook group sort of sort of eliminated the stock analysis because somebody will just bring up the stock at Facebook, and we'll talk about it there. But before the Facebook group, I used to get asked about dozens of stocks in these presentations. And feel free to ask about all you want, and I'll be happy to look at them. It's just that it's gone down since we started the Facebook group. But anyway, you're going to be shocked. Go back and look at all those setups that we asked about that I didn't like. And I'd be willing to bet that 99% of them were below the 30 EMA. I had some other blatant problem that you could deduce through one of these million little things.